Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Chris Tomshak, CEO of Health Source, America's chiropractor, and you're watching the Chiropractor Solution Channel, which is the video series that we put together that helps chiropractors build basically the lifestyle and practice of their dreams. But before we dive into this really cool interview, if you're not subscribed to this to this channel, make sure you are so that you can continue receiving these videos. And when we're done and you're done watching this, give us a thumbs up so that it makes it a bit easier for other chiropractors to find us. That's kind of how it works. So I have a very special guest today. We've got Dr. Andy Kunz from Albertville, Minnesota, who owns a very, very successful clinic there. So welcome, Dr. Andy. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the kind introduction. <laughs> All right. So again, one more time before we dive in, you know, what I'd like everybody to know is a little bit about yourself. So whatever you'd like to share. Uh, cool. Um, I, I grew up in Minnesota, uh, went to the University of Minnesota, undergraduate degree, stuck around and did chiropractic school in Bloomington. Um, and then I found Health Source uh, due to a passion of uh, background in exercise science and then uh, passion of wanting to do rehab, did not know what Health Source was, started an internship. Um, the internship led to a job opportunity. Uh, so, 09, I graduated. From 09 to 2013, I worked for um, <clears throat> a wonderful chiropractor, Dr. Casey Paulson, and then um, I bought a clinic in Albertville from him in 2013 and have owned it ever since. In um, 2011 was when I got out here. So mm -hmm. uh, that's that's background, small town individual. Um, Albertville is a wonderful community about 45 minutes west of Minneapolis. Uh, great place to live. Um, and it's great practicing here. Outstanding. So, so you graduated in 09? 09 from chiropractic school. Yep, November 09. Okay, great. So why did you choose to go to work as an associate doctor rather than opening your own clinic at the time? Um, I, that was a lack of ability of confidence <laughs> in knowing what I was doing, to be honest. Um, okay. Didn't have, didn't have one interest in owning a business at all, to be honest with you. Um, mm -hmm. Passion was always, you know, other human interaction, I guess, is, is kind of my calling is, is what I believe is. Um, and what I've always kind of thought in my life is be it making people laugh, joke, smile, caring about people, having fun. That's kind of my thing. Um, I did not want to have the responsibility of owning business. So I thought um, associateship was my best option. Mm -hmm. And it, it's in this case, it certainly works for you. The, the old yes. adage is we, uh, we learn more from our mistakes than we do from our successes. Looking back, you know, 09, 10, 11, what, what do you think were the biggest mistakes you made as an associate doctor? Um, taking for granted what I was learning. Um, well, I mean, that's retrospect, but in the actual time frame itself, mm -hmm. um, being an associate wasn't asking more questions about the, the things that I needed to know. Um, meaning like I thought I had, I thought I knew how to adjust. I thought I knew all these things and I just took for granted that I didn't. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know that's hard for brand new doctors to hear and, and trust me, I'm not saying that you're not a better adjuster than I was because you probably are. But what I mean is like, I didn't, I felt like I utilized some of the help that I could have, but I didn't, mm -hmm. didn't do it to the fullest. And my ego got in the way a lot of times and it still does. Um, which is the mistake that I've learned my whole life um, from. Um, I'm, I'm grateful to have that ego, but I also know it, it definitely trips me up from time to time. And I would say during my time 09 to 11, I didn't, I didn't learn as much as I could have. And, and that's a way to be transparent because that's, that's something that affects us all. I'm guilty as well. So, so, so beautiful on that, beautiful on the recognition. So how long did it take you to realize that, you know what, maybe I don't know everything I thought I know or, or, or knew? I, I don't think I've learned it yet. <laughs> I'm being honest. Like uh -huh. you can ask, you can ask people around me. Um, <clears throat> I, I just, it, it's all like in the moment, I feel like I still slip up a lot. Um, but as I get older, um, what I feel is that I'm, I'm willing to accept, uh, you know, the fact that I don't know everything and I reach out faster. Mm -hmm. Um, the one thing I can say that I liked 09 to 11 or 09 to even 13 is the accelerated learning process. The falls were less hard. Um, you know, I had other doctors with me to pick me up uh, in the clinic. 
I had places to call people to reach out to. Like when I fell, they helped me pick myself back up faster Mm -hmm. as long as I admitted my mistakes. And, and as you get um, better at doing that, like, I think I have gotten better. Um, The falls don't hurt. I mean, they hurt a little bit, but they don't, they're not as devastating as, as what they could have been if I would have stuck with, you know, this large ego and not admitted my faults. So when you have a fall, it sounds like you can get up faster too. Way faster, especially when there's good people around you that, you know, and then you help them get up too um, along the way because your men, you know, watching your mentor make a mistake is like, oh, okay, that's, that's a mistake that can be made by anyone. That's right. um, but the other thing is the, the people that you're around, like if the doctors you're practicing with or, or learning from have done it a little bit, they've probably made the mistake 180 times mm-hmm. and they're going to course correct you or fix that problem really quickly so that you don't make that mistake continually, whether it's treatment plan, treatment options, whether it's marketing and not marketing. Um, these people will let you make the mistake, but they won't let you make it over and over again. So you've got a, you've got a great peer group. It sounds like, and, and yeah. as Robin says, we rise to the level of the expectations of our peer group. How did you assemble mm-hmm. this, this peer group? Um, I know I don't, I don't believe in luck in life. Um, I believe in hard work creates luck. And uh, I, it was great because Dr. Paulson recognized my ability to, despite me, you know, like I said, to a fault, maybe thinking I'm pretty good at what I do. He also worked, rec- recognized my ability to work really hard um, mm-hmm. and attract, uh, like attracted like. So then I'm working with Kyle and um, Lindsay and Kristen and all these other doctors that are wonderful in our in our peer group and and Dr. Casey did a nice job of assembling that and then then we ended up growing out, out from that into I have classmates that are in health source and you know they're my best friends now and they work their butt off and um, how you, how you do that is over time you start to realize the people that you, you thought maybe or your best friends aren't mm-hmm. um, and then you realize that the people that are like-minded like you that are willing to work their tail off for a good cause. And the great thing about chiropractic is it's one of the only professions where everyone, everyone wins. If you do it correctly, your patient wins, your team wins, you win, your family wins, their family wins because they get their life back and they're not on opioids or have a medical surgery that could perhaps be unnecessary or could be necessary. Mm -hmm. Um, But you develop that peer group just through life. Um, you know, and, and growing, um, how was able to get me, I was able to get into a mastermind really quickly in my life, which is a, a peer group. And, um, one of my current <laughs> mastermind members was my first, what we call accountability partner, Dr. Allison. And it's just cool to see us all grow together. I didn't realize she was your first accountability partner. Very cool. First ever 2011, 2011. So it's been Unfortunately, 12 years of her dealing with me. <laughs> and, and you are now building, I mean, you've, you've had, you got to practice in 11. You're now building a standalone building. Well, not just a standalone building. You're building a whole, a whole center, which is, yep. um, when are you going to be in that? Um, well, I mean, the current state of affairs, according to our builder, when the thaws will start. But um, right. the goal is November, December. My guess will be around this time next year. Um, it'll be, you know, 15,000 square foot print. And then we'll have a couple extra thousand up above in a mezzanine. Um, it's going to be great. The reason why we're doing it too is, um, you know, number one, in business wise, it's a good, good at long term asset investment. But number two is the community is great here. And um, if we can offer some people chances to grow and to um, bring key business in our town, um, grow our community, grow the places where I'm going to live, where my kids are going to live, um, mm-hmm. that, that makes me feel good. And, and through this journey of yours, now you've, you've now constructed a whole different reality than what you had three, four, five years ago. Uh, how often do you, uh, you choose to run and manage and lead others? And you've also turned into one a heck of a mentor. Um, and so you're, you're sort Thanks. of off the table is a good portion of the time. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah. Yep. Um, I still, you know, I have the honor to treat a full Wednesday. Right um, it's wonderful. Um, we saw a ton. I, I get to see these huge families that I've grown to love. Yeah. Um, and then, then we have our Tuesday trainings, which are great. Um, we have a couple of doctors in our current clinic, Dr. Mike and Dr. Tyler. And what's great is like, for instance, Dr. Mike's going to leave next week. There's no stopping of our care or there's no changes in our schedule. Mm-hmm. I just get to, I get to go and treat the whole week, which is kind of fun. Um, 
and then, uh, you know, cause I, I gotta be honest, the easy part is treating patients once you get used to it. And that's the fun part. Mm-hmm. It can be frustrating when they don't listen, but, um, some of the other stuff, the, the, the leadership, the, the details, those are the things that, um, are more mind work and, and can kind of keep you up at night longer than you right. know, some of the, some of the patient care. So, um, mm-hmm. but it's, it is a blessing it, and I'll, I'll take that all day. Well, and, and you have been taking it all day. And, and as a result, and as a result of your hard work and implementation, you've got one amazing, very large, very successful practice. Um, uh-huh. How has HealthSource helped you sculpt this current reality? Um, just, just I, think, I don't know if I would have developed as an individual as quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said before, I probably would have had to take harder lumps and lessons mm-hmm. you know, personally. Um, being pushed to grow uh, helps a lot. Um, people that are achievers in life, um, I feel like you can hit a wall and get complacent and feel like you've kind of done the things that, you know, you're designed to do. Um, mm-hmm. I always, I always feel like in life there's forks in the road and then at some point you get to heaven and there's like all these books and chapters that he can open up or she can open up whoever you believe in. And, uh, and I want to be the one that they dust off in the back corner that says that was the one I didn't know if you would have got to. Um, and, uh, and you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's the, that's the one that I wasn't sure you were going to hit. Um, but here's your life. And then they lay it out for you. Um, how house does that helps me get there is they, they give me some systems that truthfully take, take some of the difficulty out of leading, mm-hmm. um, Tuesday training guides. I promise you that most of your friends, once, if you're a brand new doctor, that go out and start their own clinic in 10 years, they're going to be burnt out or wonder why their practice is stagnant. Um, it's because they're not training and they're not investing money into marketing like they should and things of that nature. Um, and remember, marketing is not the devil. Um, marketing is good because the more people you help, the more you're serving your purpose. Mm-hmm. If you signed up to be a chiropractor and you don't want to help a whole bunch of people, man, I think you're in the wrong profession um, because people need it. Um, and, you know, and that's, that's always been our mantra at our clinic is we will help as many people as we physically possibly can due to the fact that that's our, our purpose here. And, and that's our goal and job. Um, but health source streamlined some of those things with the adaptation of the new cortex, having training materials, having an ability to onboard someone, having other people to help you do the things that you are not good at. Cause guess what? You're not good at certain things. Um, that's my ego getting in the way again. I think I'm the best at everything. Um, and I'm not, um, you know, but there's other people that can help you, which is super duper cool. Um, health source is also like getting back to like this idea of building a building. I mean, being able to create another clinic and we sold it, we did a learner and an own program. Um, and that person's got a great life now. Um, he's doing great things to that doctor, but that also, that also allowed us to fund, you know, that, that next asset of, of a building. So, um, and you feel good about that when you can, you know, when you can help other people reach their successes as well, because I, I can touch X amount of human beings and change, and change their spine. But um, for me now, the cliche idea is the more people that I'm helping help other people, it, it's nice to watch. Like my reach gets bigger and bigger and, and they don't know who I am, mm-hmm. but it, which is great too. But I know that part of me is, is, is there part of uh, a legacy is there. Um, That's right. Doing the right leverage. thing. Yeah. You're utilizing the principle of leverage to help more people with the original skill sets that you assemble. Outstanding. Yeah. So, I mean, that health source has just help, helped me get to those things. Cause I, I truthfully think I would have just been complacent. My mm-hmm. life would have been pretty decent without health source. Um, now it's, it's getting to places that I've never thought of never even literally never even dreamed about on a vision board when I started, which I still have. And, and it's all crossed off and went way past that really quickly. And, and now it's like, Whoa, you know, like this wasn't on the radar when I started. Um, but it's, it's a good journey. It's a, it's a wonderful journey. It's, it's a journey of gratitude. Outstanding. So uh, with this journey that you've, that you're, that you're on, I was going to say you constructed and you have, but you're, it's, it's a never ending journey. Let's let's backtrack to somebody who is um, they've got a clinic. Yeah. Um, maybe they're maybe they're not. I don't know. Maybe they just want a different and better reality. What would you tell somebody who's thinking about converting their existing clinic? You know, in this case, you know, uh, Kuhn's Family Chiropractic to, to Health Source. What do you tell somebody like that? Um, 
you know, make sure that, you know, your heart's in the right place like it typically is. And, and if you're having a hard time um, doing some of the business things, um, you know, you're going to be in the right place. Because um, remember, in, in our heart of hearts, us, us chiropractors are people that love people and want to help people. And sometimes the business gets in the way of us doing that. And truthfully, health source can change that for you. Um, it's not going to be the easiest route. You know, there, there, there's easiest way to do, easier ways to do this, but the long-term benefit of your family, your patients is going to be um, worth the investment. Um, and the only other thing is we also own another business. I'm sitting in it right now. Uh-huh. I can, I can promise you when you look at some of the financials, I can promise you, you'll spend more on marketing software, all the things that you look at, if you want it done correctly in the right way, health source is, um, a more cost-effective way of doing this. Um, and you know, their software, like we just rolled in a brand new software program and, we rolled in a brand new software program at this business. And guess what? No one gets back to you. You have to pay people more and more and more the whole time to update everything, update your website, update your marketing materials. If you want a new business card paid, you pay for it. Mm-hmm. Um, all these types of things, HealthSource does help take care of. Um, the other thing that's nice too is we're building our building. We have not paid a, very much for us uh, a layout of HealthSource because I already know what it's supposed to look like. Mm-hmm. I just handed my builder, my builder, the specs and he's like, okay, that's done. We don't need to invest too much time. And now let's go to the other business and you're picking out colors. And I know this is things that my brain does not work in artistic manners, mm-hmm. right? It's pretty black and white. Um, and I know life is a lot of gray area, but these are things that you'll never, ever think of. So if you're going to transfer your clinic, promise you it'll look nice. If you follow the recommendations, your patients will have a good experience um, health source is going to give you ways to t- guide patients through care, um, to get them to their end result. And that's them getting better and doing the things that they're supposed to do. Now, health source is going to tell you how to practice, but they're going to give you ways to make sure that the patient experience is top notch because ultimately that's what we want. Right. Right. We want the patients to leave feeling good about their health choices and where they're, where they're headed. Exactly. We do that by over-delivering. So you, yep. you see a lot of really cool gems there, Dr. Andy, and, and they're applicable both towards somebody who's interested, who already has a practice, is interested in converting it to health source, mm-hmm. but also pretty much equally applicable to a, a new grad yep. who's trying to figure out what to do. And if, well, well, maybe I should launch a practice with health source. Is there any, yep. anything else that you would say specific to that new grad? specifically to the new grad, if you have an opportunity and there's a, a doc that's pretty good in your area, that's willing to take you on for about, you know, a, a minimum of nine to 12 months while you're building your practice, do it. Um, put, put that ego aside so you can learn from the things you love about what they do and what you don't like, you know, cause ultimately it's your practice. Um, you know, and I love Casey Paulson and there are things that he, he did that I didn't enjoy. And when I got to my own practice, I changed them and then I understood why he did them. I changed them back and, mm-hmm. and vice versa. But you, you end up, what's that? So that's beautiful. <laughs> um, but you end up figuring out how, how you want to practice, but you also learn a ton really quickly. And sorry, owner doctors that are currently in health source, if you hear this, they're learning on your dime, but it's the benefit for the rest of the world and the rest of the people that are involved, like the patients going forward. So if you can put your ego aside and you're a brand new doc, um, if you can learn from someone else quickly, do it. Um, it's more cost effective, but it's also better for your patients. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I promise you, you're probably a great doctor already, but you're probably not going to be able right away to lead properly, be a great doctor and run a business all without having one of those spinning plates fall. Right on. And there's a lot of plates. Well, listen, I, you've got a busy life. Um, I want to, I want a busy day. I want to thank you, Dr. Andy, for taking the time out huh. and, uh, and sharing some very sage advice. It was very good. It's very interesting. You always, uh, I admire what you've done, brother. I mm-hmm. absolutely admire what you've done. So thank you for your time. It's an honor, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, Dr. Andy.